Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev. And today we have a third video about this Wooting 60HE mechanical keyboard. And today I want to go through the software for this keyboard and to show uh, what you can change as a settings for this keyboard from this Pro driver. But mostly I want to talk about this rapid trigger and actuation point settings. To be like super fair with you, I'm not really 100% sure I understand all the stuff about this actuation point and rapid trigger and why do we need up to different, like three different levels of actuation. But I think I found at least a couple of things what I can show you via Valorant game difference like with and without. At least I, as I, uh, you know, simple user can explain because all other videos about it, with all these videos of pricing levels, keys and all of that, I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I'm get this. And anyway, I don't have access to these tools what can show this level of press. So I'm even not sure that they are real, but let me show, show you what I can show, right? So first of all, let's go through the software in general. You can download this application or you can use web version and all this information anyway stored into the memory of this keyboard which is good and in general you have several profiles you can create your own profile and it's a typing rapid or racing or mixed movement all of this and let's go through the first the simplest one you can change anything around the colors of each of the key obviously and you can select whatever you want but this is you know simple stuff you can do it by yourself let's switch to this the most interesting part performance and i will try to do it as simple as possible but let me please let me know in the comment section down below if i'm like totally wrong or i'm not getting something uh, it, will, it will be really helpful if you can you can advise me right but in general let's start with the uh, first part and this is actuation point and this is basically kind of the simplest way. So all standard keyboard, mechanical keyboard, by default are set to around two millimeters of actuation point. And actuation point in general, it when you when you pressing the key, right? You have this way until very top to the very down, and hold this way. It's a four millimeters, right? So if you will set or if you have your keyboard with a constant two millimeters actuation point, it means basically you need to press until the middle of this way for two millimeters and then a keyboard will register the press and will do the action, right? Let's go and let's check this on a real example in a game. We do. And today we will use Valorant as an example of all of this. So basically you may see that right now we have two millimeters of actuation point like by default for many keyboards mechanical keyboards and if i'm pressing like you, you see until the middle of the key press it's nothing and when i'm crossing this mid i'm start moving right logical simple to even show it more like you know in a clear way let's change this actuation point to four millimeters save to the keyboard and now I need to press the key until very bottom, very down to register the key press, right? And vice versa, if I will do it to 0.1, I need to just touch a little bit to start moving. Okay, clear, clear, good. So let's put it around one millimeter for now. Second option we have is a rapid trigger, right? You can do it for one key or for all keys, for any keys and basically, what this settings is doing, right? Basically, it will restart or release the press of the key because in a, in a standard keyboard, for example, if you need to, to press it, for example, if it will register your move around one millimeter, for example, right? Then you will go very, like, very bottom and just keep moving, for example, like you're just moving, right? To stop move, you need to release all to the up. To, to release and reset the key, right? In case of rapid trigger, you can set, for example, for the same or even for 0 
0.5 millimeters, for example, and you don't need to move, you, need to, you don't need to release whole key from the button to the up. You can do it very quickly, you know? So you are going down for half of millimeters and going up, going down and going up. So basically you don't need whole four millimeters for, to, to make your move. You need only this upper one millimeter right I, I i know it's not it's not clear it's it's even not clear for me but but i i, I want to show you something to to try to, to to explain so hear me out so we have only these three buttons set set with this like all other buttons this one for example it's a, like by default two millimeters without rapid trigger right right so now in the game we have this part working with rapid trigger, this part without rapid trigger. And I want to try, and I have on this right shift fire button, because just to avoid any, you know, movements with the mouse. Now, what I want to show you, difference, at least what I, what I can see, with a, without rapid trigger and with rapid trigger. Just check this out. You see the difference between holes? It's uh, quite big. Because in this game, you need to be still to be the most accurate as you can, right? And with this normal keys, without actuation point and rapid trigger, you have delay with pressing down and pressing up. That's why you have a big difference between movements. Now let's try the same with rapid trigger. You see, I can achieve much less distance between holes because I can press quickly down and up and even this even not disturb my cursor because you can see that cursor became wider when during the move and I can manage to move without even changing cursor for with rapid trigger. Without rapid trigger, it's kind of hard to do because we have this long press and long press up and long press down. Um, so this is my idea how it works. Like once again. So this is my idea. So for the game, for example, as this one, when you are moving, you have less accuracy. And when you stop, you have more accuracy. It's important to stop earlier, like as soon as possible, as quick as possible. And this rapid trigger and actuation point allow you to operate only with this upper one millimeter of whole, like, you know, way of the key and which is much faster than whole four millimeters down and whole four millimeters up. Of course, if you are a noob as I in this game and playing for the like on your 35 bucks simplest keyboard and you like apparently bought this 200 bucks keyboard with all these rapid triggers and other stuff, you will still be sucks in this game. Just, just for your understanding. It will not allow you to immediately rule the game just because of this. But if you're a professional player or you're like, you know, really skilled player and you need this milliseconds of faster response, it will help you. So this is my understanding and I'm sure I may be wrong. So please let me know uh, if I'm wrong and just help me to understand better all this concept about this rapid trigger and actuation point and all of that. We'll really appreciate. Also, in addition to that, you have option to remap. By the way, also you have this Taichon mode, which is like doing it even faster than one millisecond, but you will not be able to check this anyway. So. It, maybe it's marketing, maybe it's something real, nobody knows. Also, you have advanced settings with continuous rapid trigger, but this is, I'm like, totally not understand. And separate press release and sensitivity. 
which is you can set up this stuff like separately and I also do not understand what the difference because anyway you you are not able to feel this you are not able to catch the difference on your physically on your fingers it's just impossible I don't know maybe I do not feel it but you can check only one thing when it register a press because you're going from up to down like to register to understand that it was released on one millisecond down earlier than later like objectively it's impossible so i think it's mostly marketing let's play and let's check uh, what's the difference death match warm up or rather not the difference but can i hit couple of frogs or not. so the idea of this game is that you need to stop immediately when you see and when you want to shoot so it doesn't make sense to shoot on the way because accuracy is too low at least in my understanding so you need to stop and start fire we can stand No more secrets. 